If you know me, you might know that I am a doll and a toy collector, and I like things in miniature. So I discovered that Hallmark has this line of Fisher-Price toys, and if you're a child of the 70s and 80s, or a parent that had children in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, you probably bought some of these toys for your kids. I know I did. My kids had the chatter phone. Now this is a very cute replica of the chatter phone. And so when I saw this I had to have it. One or more of my children had the Fisher Price Little People school bus and I'm sure many of you remember this and it's still popular right to this day and so of course I had to add this to my collection my firstborn which was my son Shannon had the see and say he had the farmer says now this one came out later it's the zookeeper says now let me show you that these little miniatures actually do work. That's part of the beauty of them. They work. Watch what happens when I pull the string. Remember that? And then whichever animal it lands on, it talks about the sounds that animal makes. Now, this next item, I'm sure one of my kids, if not more, had this. It's one of the toys you get them when they're just learning how to walk, and you roll it, and the little balls inside pop. This one is the Fisher-Price TV, a replica of that came out and when you turn the dial it plays a tune and the image on the screen on the big one actually rolls this is not a Fisher Price toy but it is one of the Hallmark ornaments it's a pink tricycle I think it's just adorable and the wheels actually turn and the pedals and so on and so forth. It's so cute. I couldn't resist and I had to have it in my collection. Now, as I mentioned, I also collect dolls. So these are replicas of the Chatty Cathy doll. Now, when I was a girl and still young enough to own one of these, my parents couldn't afford this doll. And at that time, they didn't make many dolls in African American and when these were finally made in color they were very scarce because they didn't make that many and probably more expensive because when I look for them now on eBay and I find them they're two and three times more in cost than the original white Chatty Cathy. I was able to get myself a replica of a blonde Chatty Cathy that came out 10 or more years ago, so I have that. But then when I saw these miniatures, of course I had to have these for my collection. Now the original Chatty Cathy, when you pull the string in back of her, she says several phrases. Watch what happens when I pull the string on these very cute miniatures. And so I saw that these came in brunette and blonde. 
because I think eventually they made some of the dolls. In fact, I know because I've seen some as brunettes. Oops. You can see I'm not too good at handling the camera and manipulating the toys. But I just wanted to share these little things with you because they are adorable. They are just adorable. Now finally, this is the Barbie makeup head. Not something I bought my kids, not something I ever wanted, but I've added it to my collection because I actually used these miniatures this year in a collage. I'm sorry, not a collage. A, hmm, I guess you can call it a diorama that I created using some of the little Kelly dolls that belonged to my daughter Star that she kept in very good condition and so I was able to set up a situation where the dolls supposedly got these toys for Christmas because the toys fit right in size wise with my dolls. I'll show you a picture of the scenes that I created. So I just wanted to share that with you and I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and got what you wanted as well.